Hello, and welcome to Read Along with Heather. Today, we will be reading Franklin is Messy by Paulette Bourgeois and illustrated by Brenda Clark. Franklin could count forwards and backwards. He could zip zippers and button buttons. He could tie, shoe, he could tie his shoes and count by twos. But Franklin was so messy that he could hardly ever find his things, even special things. One day, Franklin searched for his sword. It was special because he had made it himself from cardboard and wood and string. Franklin needed it to play knights in armor with his friends. He looked all over. He found a bag of marbles he thought he had lost. He found a brown apple core. Yuck! He even found his favorite ba baseball hat, but he couldn't find his sword. Have you seen my sword? Franklin asked his mother. Franklin's mother looked around his room. She shook her head. All I see is a big mess. Please tidy this room before you go out and play. Franklin muttered to himself, why all, fu why all the fuss about a little mess? He had more important things to worry about. He might miss playing nights. Franklin hurried. He opened his closet and heaped an armful of books inside. He piled all of his blocks in the middle of the room. He threw his hat on in the corner and put the apple core in the drawer. All done, he said to himself. Still, he hadn't found a sword. By the time Franklin reached Bear's house, his friends were already playing knights. Bear slashed the air with his sword. Beaver lunged at evil dragons. Hurry, Franklin, shouted Bear. We need you. I can't, whispered Franklin. The game stopped. Why not, he asked. I don't have my sword, said Franklin. Bear was disappointed. But how can we play nice without swords, he asked. Franklin looked around. He found a stick on the ground. I'll use this, he said. They fought dragons all afternoon. Tomorrow, said Franklin, I will have my own sword. Then we can save Lady Beaver from a fire-breathing dragon. We are courageous, Sir Franklin, and Sir Bear. Beaver slapped her tail down hard. I don't want to be saved. I want to be a brave knight, too. All right, Sir Franklin. You can be Sir Lady Beaver. All And together we will save the king. You'll need your own special sword, said Bear. Of course, said Franklin. When Franklin got home, his father was annoyed. I found these in your drawer, he said, holding the apple core. That's not where it belongs. And I found this hat on the floor. That's not where it belongs either. Franklin threw the apple in the garbage and hung up his hat. Why all the fuss about a little mess? Goose came by looking for a puzzle she had loaned to Franklin. Can I please have my puzzle back, she asked. Franklin looked. His room was such a mess he couldn't find the puzzle amongst the books and crayons and blocks. Maybe it's in my closet, said Franklin. Franklin opened the closet door. It was messy in there. Two. He stepped inside. Crunch! It was a very loud noise. Franklin's parents came rushing in. Are you all right? They asked. I'm all right, said Franklin, but my sword isn't. He held up the shattered pieces. What a mess, Franklin said sadly. Maybe you need to put more, you need more places to put your things, said Franklin's mother. They found boxes in the basement. They painted them and named them toy box, puzzle box, costume box, and block box. They put blocks on the bookshelf. Then they put a special hook on the back of the door for a new sword. The tidying up took a long time, but it wasn't so bad because Franklin found lots of things he thought he'd lost. Goose's puzzle, his own favorite purple crayon, and enough cardboard, wood, and string to make a new sword and even a shield.
The next morning, Franklin dressed in full armor. He was especially proud of his new shield. It says, Sir Franklin, loyal and brave. Sir Franklin, said his mother, I think you forgot something. His Franklin's mother whispered in his ear. Franklin smiled. They took a crown and added two more words on his shield. Sir Franklin, loyal, brave, and neat. And that's the end of Franklin is Messy.